Hi, it's Laura Wilson, and we're in the website module of the Online Branding Academy, and I'm going to show you now how to change the theme of your WordPress website and various different themes that I recommend. Okay, so we're on the in the um, admin panel. So on the left-hand side, if you go down under Appearance and click on the Themes link, So as you can see, this is our current theme, which is the default WordPress theme, the 2011 theme. Now I've installed some other themes here, and I'm going to show you uh, which ones I recommend. But what you can do if, I mean, you may not like any of the ones I recommend. So if you want to check out other themes, then click on Install Themes, and you can browse all of the themes that WordPress offers um, generically. So you can filter by different colour, by one column or two column, um, custom header, seasonal, so various, you know, various different options there. But if you just say you want to find a green theme, you can just browse through the, the hundreds, if not thousands, of different themes that WordPress offers in the back end. So as you can see, it, it lists all the themes um, and look, there's there's nine pages of green themes 242 items listed under green themes so it just shows the amount of themes that are all together so you, know, you can see a little preview so click on preview to to show how it's going to look and typically when you show a preview it gives like a placeholder for a photo and it always shows this little boat photo uh, and it generally shows you an example of the elements, so how headings are formatted, paragraph text, lists, forms. Um, okay, so this has got forms in it as a as a plugin type thing on this theme, um, and how comments look. Okay, so that it will show you, it will give a demonstration of all the different types of, of format that each theme has. So you just click the cross to get out of that. So I'll just show you a couple of others. Okay, this one looks quite nice, so we'll have a preview of that one. So you know, these, these ones here listed in the WordPress admin panel are all free themes. Um, and a lot of them are, are really, really nice. There are paid themes as well that I'm going to show you some um, in, in a short while. But all the ones in the admin panel here in the back end of WordPress are free. And there are some lovely looking themes. You know, this one's a great looking theme. They won't have as much functionality as the paid themes and um, probably not as much customization. But if you want just something very simple, then like I say, there's hundreds, if not thousands, of free themes that you can use. So that's if you want to browse the theme section, go to install themes and then browse. But what I'm going to show you is some other themes. Now, if you go here, there's a site called iThemes.com, and I like the Notepad theme. It's a simple theme, um, very clean, easy to use, and this is the demo of it. So as you can see, you've got the pages listed along the top there. So click on the About page. So this is where you enter your text. Um, so we'll go home. It's got the recent posts listed down here. So there's two widget areas. And you can add your own um, desired widgets here. So you could add tags, you could add um, categories. Um, Okay, but it's just very simple. So you can have your website slogan there. That could be the name of your website, your photo, whatever you want there, um, and then your home page. And it's just very simple, very clean with your pages listed, posts listed down here. It's a narrow, narrow section. There's no sidebars, so you can't add anything on the side here. But this is good if you just want something very simple. Okay, so that's called the Notepad theme in iThemes. So I'll put a link below this video to that one. Now, another set of themes that I really love are the Woo themes. Woo themes have both paid and free themes, um, and I use both. 
So if you go into click themes, again I'll have a link below this video to, to these themes. And if you click on business, I like the business ones, then there are, like I say, some of them are paid, some of them are free. So for example, swatch here is free, an announcement is paid. So it will generally show you which ones are the paid ones. Um, and you can get, I think one theme is $67 and you can get the whole lot for, for $125. So yeah, it's not, you're not going to break the bank buying any one of these themes. But the good thing about Woo themes is there's a lot of good functionality on the back end. It's very good for SEO, good customization, um, and they're very clean, very very nice looking sites, professional looking sites. Okay, so um, for example, I use this one. I use Sea Lights for my iBrandBoost.com/forward/slash/services um, website. So if you click on the demo. So here you can see a demo of this theme, and it's got this nice feature box, um, clickable feature box at the top here. It's got your pages listed there. You've got um, you know little areas, box areas there. It's just a nice theme, lots of functionality, and this moves, this scrolls. See, <coughs> so this is a great theme, but that one's paid. So I'll show you, show you now some of the free themes and some of the ones I recommend. So we'll go back to the themes link and click on free. And here's some of the ones I like. I quite like Skeptical. It's quite a nice looking one. So that one there, look. And I like type-based is not bad I don't like some of the colors on type-based but it's okay and the one that I use the one that I'm currently using is this one mainstream this is what I'm gonna be um, using for the site that I'm setting up shortly my affiliate site so again we'll click on the demo Okay, so this is definitely a theme that I would recommend, and as I say, it's it's free, so it's a real no-brainer. And what I like about it is this. You can have a logo here. Now, this is a fault with this theme. I'll say this up front. So this section here where it says a blog about everyday things and mainstream, you cannot change that. For some reason, there's an error in the coding. You can't change that to your blog site. So what you need to do is upload a logo there. If you don't want to upload a logo, if you just want to have your your text, like mysite.com, in text there, don't use this theme, okay? It's a bug, and because it's a free theme, they're not going to fix it at the moment. So if you want to upload a logo, this is a great theme. You can use this section here for a banner, like an affiliate banner or a link to another section of your website or whatever. You've got your Twitter and Facebook links there. They're optional. You don't have to have those, but it's nice. You've got this little welcome box where you can just introduce yourself, introduce your site. Pages or categories across here. So you can have your different post, blog post categories or pages. The, the text and the font is nice. It's clear. It's crisp. You've got a side, excuse me, a sidebar here with you can have um, ad widgets you can have photo uh, sorry yeah widgets with ads photos uh, Twitter stream or whatever else you want to include in this sidebar at the bottom we've got our pages or you can change that to your categories again as well so it's a nice looking theme and there's various different colors as well so if you click on more styles you can show blue blue and orange look khaki so as with all these themes all the woo themes there's usually about four or five different um, different colors now if you want to use this theme then you simply click on purchase and download this free theme and you just simply have to register so your name email and a username and submit so you won't have to enter credit card details or anything like that it is completely free and you can download it in zip format straight away so I'm gonna show you now. Oh, yeah, I'm gonna show you now how to um, how to upload that zip formatted theme once you've downloaded it. So okay, that's this is how it's gonna look 
when it's uploaded. So I've already uploaded this theme to my website, added my own logo there. This is going to be a review site for Auto Build It new um, website platform. So that's how it looks. So I'm going to show you how you install themes. So we go back into our admin panel and we click install themes and then upload. That will take you to your, um, you can choose a file from your hard drive. So we'll choose a file and I tend to have a whole load of um, documents sorry, a whole, whole load of themes in a folder I call WordPress. So WordPress, themes, so I've got the Flex theme, I've got Woo themes, Optimize Press, Thesis. Um, so I'm going to install, mm, okay, Woo, yeah. Okay, so I'm going to So what you do is you just click on these themes. Now obviously I've got the, um, I've got that mainstream theme already installed so I'll install another theme, let's choose paper cut, I have no idea what this looks like uh, but it's I've already bought these, the whole load of Woo themes so I'll install that, so you just click install it takes a matter of seconds to upload a theme and this really is the beauty of WordPress, you don't need to know any coding you don't need to get a web designer to you know, completely reformat your website it's simply a matter of uploading a new theme or, changing a th or choosing a theme from the WordPress gallery and you can change your theme as many times as you want um, and you know, trial and test what you think looks best, what has the best functionality for you so this is really the great thing okay so that's uploaded so then you simply click activate and that will activate your theme. Click on the top here where it says your site name and we'll open a new tab and it will show you how this theme looks. So I have no idea how this is going to look, this is a paper cut theme. Okay, there we have it. So obviously there's a few formatting issues because I've it, it, I've formatted my site for um, a different theme. Then we've got the logo here um, and this is a bit unformatted. But I'm just using this to show you how easy it is to change the theme. And so I'm going to go back now and change it to a different theme. So I'm going to change it back to uh, Notepad. We'll activate this one. So this is the simple one that I mentioned to you earlier on. Yeah, so then we'll refresh this page. And we've got a different theme, which is better formatted. Click on the About page. There we go. So uh, literally at the click of a button you can change your themes. Now I'll run through a couple of other themes that I really like and I want to alert you to. So we've gone through the mainstream theme which I really like, would recommend, which looks like this when it's installed on my website. A very, very popular theme which is popular because it's highly customizable, highly clean, um, a real gorgeous premium theme, very, very professional, is the thesis theme. Now, this is a paid theme, um, and it's not cheap. Uh, let's look at pricing. How much is thesis? Okay, so you can have it on one site for $87, or if you want to include it on multiple sites, um, or and have it on your client sites, if you're managing other people's websites, $164. So it's not, it's not mega expensive, but it's not cheap either, okay? But Thesis is an amazing site, and here's some examples of people's websites um, using Thesis. And what you'll see is the um, is the variation in these websites, which highlights just how customizable how, how customizable it is. You can change everything from the font to the width of the menu bar to your logos. It's, oh, it's there's just so many things. So that is a crisp looking theme. Let's look at a couple others. 
Yeah, see, look how different this one looks to the last one. But again, very clean, very crisp, very professional looking. I'll show you my site. My personal blog is built on Thesis, which is this one here. So again, it looks totally different to the, to the last websites I mentioned. Um, and like I say, everything is customizable. I customized, customized the width of this main section. You can have these featured photos here, um, the font, the font color, all these colors are, are my branding colors, which you can't do with a lot of different uh, WordPress themes. You're stuck with their general colors. So yeah, I would definitely recommend Thesis. It is a premium theme though. Okay, and one other theme I want to show you, which is an absolutely amazing theme, um, and this is James Dyson's Optimized Press. Optimized Press has been created um, to create, well, it's been created specifically for online marketers to create squeeze pages, so one page. Um, you know, uh, opt-in box pages, sales letters, one-time offers, launch funnels, and much more. So I'll show you one of my websites that's built on Optimized Press. So this is the home page, which is a pure squeeze page. So it's got your name and email box, and you get all these customizable buttons, um, great-looking graphics. Um, so that's the home page of my alkaline diet health tips.com website. And then one of the inner pages is here. This is where you can have launch videos. So if you're launching a product and want to create a series of videos, video one, video two, three, four, and you can add all these thumbnail images um, and all of this, all these testimonial boxes, the headlines and these fonts uh, and the ability to have all these comments is all part of the optimized press functionality, which is an absolutely wonderful WordPress theme. It's the one of the best things I discovered in 2010 for my online marketing was optimized press. And I've been an absolute raving fan ever since. You can also have membership site functionality. You can have um, a blog. In fact, if we look at, uh, let's have a look at, just check, show you my blog. Uh, I think this should be it. Maybe not. Okay, we'll return to my home page. Um, but anyway, you can have a blog there, membership site, sales letter pages. I'll show you my sales letter actually. So this has been done on Optimized Press. So this is a real, you know, a real internet marketer site. And I'll put a link underneath this video to another video, which is my full review of Optimized Press and saying exactly why it's so good. So this is one of my sales letters that I've created. Um, so, you know, you can produce really a real nice looking website using Optimized Press. So to recap... You want to go into the section um, in the admin panel, appearance, themes, manage themes. So you can either um, choose one that's already in the back end if you've already uploaded some or install themes. And you can choose, you can browse through the WordPress um, free themes. You can download your own theme and then upload it in here in zip file format. You can buy a premium theme um, and upload it. But that's managing themes or installing themes and it's very simple and you can completely customize your website to how you want it to look. And the themes that I would recommend are Notepad from iThemes, the selection of Woo themes, Thesis and Optimized Press. So have a browse through those, see which one is going to be best for you and install your theme.